what is up you guys it's your girl chelsea j welcome back to another video this video is long overdue it is a video where we are talking about all of my recent haul items so you're going to see like a mixture of everything now disclaimer this these are my recent purchases but i never came on here and did a semi-annual sale video for you guys a lot was going on in my life at that time so i didn't have the time to do it and i honestly don't remember what i picked up during the semi-annual sale before i had to stop shopping the semi-annual sale due to everything that was going on in my life so with that being said everything you're about to see now are just recent purchases that i can kind of remember because some sales just happened and then the set of particular items that i have i remember is because i have not purchased from this place from a long time so let's jump into it if you are new here welcome to the gang gang if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back or what they do boo y'all i'm trying to figure out my new what's my new filming you know background gonna be I haven't filmed in a very long time, so I'm kind of rusty, so forgive me for that. But I did want to just come back on here and try to jump back into it and get more comfortable and post more. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I still have a huge giant collection of hygiene and body care products. And we're going to talk about that more in some future videos, but this video is just to focus on what I recently purchased. Now, I wanted to do this because I kind of want to come and see like what I have purchased because let's be honest, I do need to slow down on my buying a little bit, not even a little bit, a whole lot of bit. So we're also going to talk about that more in future videos, but I was able to shop the $5.95 Bath & Body Works sale. I think I shopped two of those. I would have stopped by Marshalls and I picked up a few items from Marshalls and then I picked up a few items from Victoria's Secret Pink and I have not shopped Victoria's Secret Pink in a very, very long time. So for me to pick up these things is very interesting. Um, I actually am always the person who had FOMO, but for a while I wasn't fearing or missing out of pretty much anything. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So first we're gonna start off with the Bath & Body Works. No, we're gonna start off with the pink products because I kind of want to show you guys what I got from pink. All right, so we're gonna start off with the things that I don't have a full set of. So first up we have vanilla dream it has notes of fluffy cow fluffy vanilla golden caramel and cotton cloud y'all see i've been using this one it smells so good and so like clean and comforting like i really smell a lot of that vanilla and caramel and not a lot of coconut cloud so this i did not feel pressured into needing the lotion for because um it's vanilla vanilla can go with anything so i was just using this with a plain um lotion from nivea i think and it just smells so good like i still had like a sweet scent about myself you could still tell i had on something but it was also very like how do i want to say it? it was very skin scent like natural so yeah that's the pink body mist and vanilla and dreamy and i picked this up and i think it was like five dollars six dollars something like that i can't remember the exact price but i've already been getting some good use out of it so not even mad about it the next scent i picked up that i did not get a matching lotion to is cotton candy it has notes of strawberry sugar fluffy vanilla boardwalk air I picked this up because I wanted to see if it reminded me of Boardwalk Taffy or any of those scents like that from Victoria's Seat from Bath & Body Works. Lord Jesus. This does have a very strong, like, when I think of cotton candy, this is what I think of. And I didn't get a lotion for this um, because I think the lotion was sold out at the time. But I'm kind of glad I didn't get a lotion for it because... I have Love, Love, which is Cotton Candy Champagne by Bath & Body Works. And I have like an extra lotion from when I was buying doubles and all this type of stuff. So once I finish using the, um, the body mist, I will have some lotion. I will have a 
great amount of lotion left because I think I have a full lotion and I'll just pair it with that and I will also find some other things to pair it with like cotton candy scents and scents like this are very easy for me to use up so I'm not worried about not having a lotion and that will be the reason why I'm not gravitating towards it this does smell really really good it's really heavy on the strawberry sugar and fluffy vanilla vanilla note and I love that next up this one um was kind of like a flute i went in stores because i needed to get some underwear so i went to pink to get some underwears and this was in the 595 section i'm pretty sure it was a leftover from sass this is bubbly light and happy and it has notes of frozen coconut sparkling red berries and crystal amber i gravitated towards this because i actually have the original light and happy in my collection and I enjoyed it. So I was like, let me just see what this smells like. It smells good, you guys. Like, believe it or not, when I smell this, I do think cold. I do think frozen. But in my opinion, this is really heavy on the red berry notes and not the frozen coconut notes. So this is going to be really good for when the weather gets cold but you want like a reminder of summer almost and um the packaging honestly kind of reminds me of like new year's and all that so let me know did this come out like during new year's or something like that like i'm kind of curious so yeah i don't know what lotion i would pair with this i feel like you could almost get away with any kind of lotion that has like a boozy champagne note. So if champagne notes aren't your thing, you wouldn't like this, but it smells really good. All right, on to the sets. The first set that I picked up was Pop Jelly Warm and Cozy. It has notes of cotton candy, fluffy vanilla, strawberry gloss. Now I feel like this is hefty similar to um cotton candy <laughs> so i don't know why i think the packaging is what sold me on this but i will say it does smell different enough like in this one i'm not sure what note i'm picking up but yeah just know it does smell different enough so i did end up getting the body spray and i ended up getting um the lotion which it comes in a tube like a cream and y'all the thing i like about um bath and body Works, lord i keep saying bath and body works the thing i like about victoria's secret pink is their lotions come sealed so yeah so i did pick that up um i'm gonna hold off on this for when i use it because i feel like if i have too many of the same scents in rotation you know i'm gonna get tired of it so this is a backup from once i've gone through like all of my other cotton candy-esque scents next i picked up sunset gelato which is pistachio gelato caramel drizzle and sea salt i picked this up because they said it was a dupe of so de Janeiro, you know the one that everybody gets and it does smell very similar i do get a lot a lot a lot of the caramel drizzle note to my nose and i just picked this up because i think this would be good to have as far as when um i do go through my soul de Janeiro and i still want this like scent profile because i do enjoy the scent profile i have this which was just like a cheaper version the last thing that i picked up from pink was pop jelly fresh and clean this has notes of guava splash candy apple and shimmer velour now what velour is supposed to smell like i totally have no idea but i was so interested to see how guava and apple would play off of each other and y'all it smells really really good um i thought this was gonna be like oh a scent you can only wear in the summer but I can definitely see myself wearing this into the fall because of that apple note. So like early September, mid-September, going into like October, you could definitely get away with this. And to me, I don't smell the guava. I smell 
it being heavy on that candy apple note which is crazy because i had started straying away from candy apple note because of bath and body works and what's that scent that comes out every um christmas y'all know what i'm talking about candy apple i started you know getting away from it because of that but this actually does smell good and it does smell fresh and clean like the note says so this is also a good product for if you want to smell clean but you want to give yourself like a little pop which is good all right next up we have a bath and body works order now if i'm not mistaken yes this is a bocus order and i picked this up during the time that the um miss they had like a 5.95 miss sale but i also had a reward so i did pick up a lotion to match one in a sense and we'll go over that when we get to it all right so the first one i picked up was honeycomb because I'm not a big honey girl, but I just was interested in how this smells. It has notes of sweet shea and golden honey. And the shea is what really enticed me to pick it up. This is really good and sweet. And it's not like too artificially honey, which I feel like some of these fragrance mints can be. So... My husband loves honey notes as well. So I just picked this up and I'm going to use this as like a layering agent. So like I'm going to layer this with a lot of scents, um, especially scents that I want to come out and smell like sweet. And I'm also probably going to layer this with like my cocoa and shea stuff. Is that what it called? Cocoa and shea? Yeah, with my cocoa and shea stuff. So that's honeycomb. Then from that same line, I pick up milk um this is notes of sugared oats and whipped milk for a creamy cozy scent and i was super hesitant about picking this up because i had heard mixed reviews some people like it some people don't this is extremely light but you definitely pick up on the sugared oats note in my opinion and this is definitely a cozy scent i did use this a little already and i used it like going to bed when i kind of I didn't want to smell like a lot, but I wanted to smell like something. So this will probably definitely be like a bedtime scent or a scent that I wear when I know I'm going around someone that has like allergies or something like that. So yes, this is very light to the nose, but I love it. And it was $5.95 and y'all know these little perfume ones, they're $16.95. So I was like, let me pick it up. Next up, I picked up pumpkin swirl cake and this had just like came out or whatever um pumpkin spice caramel toffee creamy vanilla now this i was scared about because i don't like scents that are really really heavy on pumpkin if i'm gonna get a pumpkin scent i have to get a lot from another note out of the fragrance and to me that caramel toffee stands out like i can still smell pumpkin i still know it's there but to my nose, the caramel toffee nose outweighs itself. Y'all, I was so shocked by this. And then I was kicking myself because I did have another reward. And I was like, oh, I should have used it to grab the lotion. But I did not want to grab the lotion before smelling the spray. Because I was like, what if I don't like the spray? So I like the spray. And yeah, y'all will see coming up what happened from me liking the spray next up the set that i picked up because i knew i was gonna love it blueberry bunt cake harvest blueberries honey drizzle fluffy cake and i used the reward to get a lotion y'all this smells so good i love blueberry scents and honestly during sas this is probably be one that i hunt down to get a backup of Ugh, it smells so good it does remind me a lot of blueberry sugar pancakes so with this coming out, I do feel like I can go ahead and use up all my backups that I have of blueberry sugar pancakes because it does remind me of it. Um, yes. And the lotion is really smells like a really, really like creamy almost. Like I can't, it just smells so good. You have to be a blueberry person to like this because it is really heavy on the blueberry note. I will say that. And if you haven't noticed, I do gravitate more towards picking up lotions because the creams, 
go really really bad which i'll be talking about in the upcoming video but yeah lotions have a longer shelf life so that was from my bopas order when they had like a 5.95 sale and so i went and i picked that up and then recently they had a 5.95 sale for bath and body works for their luxury line and so let me tell y'all what i did because i still have the receipt in here so everything was a 5.95 then i had a 20 percent off discount code so that took like another dollar and 19 cent off so i just did that y'all i told y'all i ended up liking the pumpkin um what is it called the pumpkin swirl cake so boom i got a lotion i used my reward to get a lotion but the kicker with this is in my area this lotion was so 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 hard to come by i ended up going to like two or three different stores before i found the lotion and once again i get the caramel toffee note um, I do have, I do have a pumpkin cupcake that I want to run through this October before I jump into this. So I don't even know if I will make it to use this this fall or whatever the case may be. But I love it. This is another one that if I were to see it as sass and I have already used a good little bit of it, I would definitely, definitely pick up a backup. All right, now let's get into the everyday luxury line. Y'all, I really wasn't too much, like, trying to pick these up, like, when they first came out and falling into the hype of everybody because I was just, like, I have way too much stuff. I need to use some of the stuff. I don't really care about it. But, you know, for $5.95, like I said, I had an extra 20% off coupon. I was like, what the heck? Let me at least give them a smell. So out of all of the ones, I only picked up three. Three only caught my attention as far as me liking them. And they're probably the very, the most basic ones. And I'm not even going to get into comparing them to what is the high-end fragrance that they're supposed to smell like because I honestly don't care. Like, let's be honest. So I picked up. Viva Vanilla, which has notes of rich plum, glowing amber, addictive vanilla. Now, I do know they said this is supposed to smell like Billie Eilish. Eilish? Like, Billie Eilish? That's what it's called? Eilish? I don't know. Whatever. But, yeah, I have that in, a, like, a little travel size. And I don't ever gravitate towards it or wear it. This smells good. This is definitely given I have on a perfume, but it's not a perfume. And I think it is just that amber that is amplifying that plum note that is turning it into like not a very basic vanilla. So if you want to wear vanilla because you're a vanilla girl, but you don't want to smell basic, this is a good one to have. Then I went ahead and I picked up one that shocked me if you musk <laughs> this has notes of iris pink pepper and airy musk and this shocked me because i'm not even really a musk girl disclaimer i like the little musk body oils that you can find well back down south home where i'm from i can find them that you can find and like the beauty supply stores those smell good to me for some reason i don't know why they just do but any other type of musk i'm normally just like mm-mm but this smells so good, y'all. It's so, it's fresh and clean. And when I think of musk, I don't think of fresh and clean. But that is just what this smells like, fresh and clean. It is really airy. It is really light. And to my nose, I'm not picking up a strong pepper note. So that makes it even better for me. Last but not least, I picked up Pink Obsessed. This has notes of blushing jasmine cashmere praline vanilla bourbon i think this is supposed to be born in roma donna born in roma which i've had before and i used it all so i liked it so i knew i would like this this smells really really good and dare i say on the back end i get like a baby a note that is reminding me of baby powder i don't know could just be me but that is what i'm getting you guys Smells so good. I was nervous about it because bourbon notes and whiskey notes, period, and fragrances trip me up. But I'm not even getting that. I smell more of the jasmine in this. So, 
I did like that. And I think that that baby powder note is some of that cashmere peeking through. All right, so that we're not keeping this video too long, we have one more bag to go through of my recent purchases. And I went to Marshalls and I picked up two perfumes um, because that's what caught my nose. So the first thing that caught my nose is strawberry icing. And it's just what it says, y'all. Strawberry icing. Like, heavy strawberry icing. Not gonna lie, this can smell kind of artificial. This was $16.99. Not gonna lie, this can smell kind of artificial. But, you know, just to have like a true strawberry icing scent, this is really good. I think this is gonna go really well with strawberry pound cake and we're gonna find out soon because i'm gonna be pulling my strawberry pound cake because it's time to use it up and let it go because that's not even a scent that i gravitate towards y'all i don't know if it's because i feel like people have just worn it out or if i just really was just like no because i feel like i wear it at the wrong time i feel like i can't wear strawberry pound cake when it's too hot and that's what i was trying to do so i'm gonna wear it in the cooler and colder months and see how that works out for me next up next perfume is praline and pistachio y'all know pistachio has been like the notes hitting <laughs> that's that's been what's been popping lately $16.99 y'all i love anything with praline in it so this was like a no-brainer when i smelled it <sighs> i honestly get that praline note much 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 more than i get the pistachio note and love that for me because this is going to smell so good going into the winter time the colder months two nuts praline nuts pistachio nuts it's just gonna this is gonna hit so yeah you guys that is all of my recent purchases and i don't plan on buying much of anything because i need to get through this huge collection for various reasons but we'll talk about that at another time thank you all so much for watching this video and until next time i'll see y'all later